Biden, just before a speech speaking about Hispanic Heritage Month, opened his phone up and played Despacito on the mic. I did not see this. I'm surprised I haven't seen this. When did this happen? Today? Just now. It Just now? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Like, you know, He's like, I'm watching it live, bro. That's why my mouth was, uh, you know, I was sitting over here. I wasn't trying to be rude. I just seen this man take out his phone and play Despacito. I got to see this. This is definitely going to be on what? my Twitter. That's so funny, Joe too, Biden because. Biden uh, starts playing Despacito from his phone. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me see if I can play this for y'all. I quick. had been it's watching be- that uh, he was losing the, the Latino vote because he's not t- basically doing Oh, he's going to get him back now. <laughs> he's going to get him back now. Oh, play Justin this. Bieber. Singing Spanish music. The same Justin Bieber <laughs> he just who, walks out, who forgot the lyrics mask. to Despacito and sang Burrito, Burrito, Burrito. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's Spanish, right? <laughs> uh, Is he just referring to himself? He's just what? grinning right now. and just Look at me. Wow. At me. I don't know what. I'm not racist. That just happened. <laughs> I'm not racist at all. Dude, you know you know what they remind me of? You know in movies when there's like the cool mom and like they're trying to do stuff to, to seem hip? That's what it feels like. Yep. Like you know the the cool mom in fucking Mean Girls that comes out and she's like, Hey guys, here's some condoms, like here's some mm. like, <laughs> no, alcohol. No. <laughs> like that's what it kind of feels like. That's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> man that was bad that was a good transition and then actually. he's nodding his head yeah no he's actually feeling it you know he's like he's got his grin and b- banging his head to it look just at me little, like look at me look at me <laughs> i know a spanish song here let me pull up for you doc i'm got on my phone i'm sorry i can definitely put it up on the was it a tweet it just happened on the twitter it, yeah I, for my first i went on my feet and that's the first thing i saw it's okay in his defense, in his defense, <laughs> okay, that in his awesome. defense, the guy who introduced him to the speech was the guy who recorded the song, Louis Fonzi. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Okay, okay yeah. there's some context. Yeah. There's okay. some context. Yeah, but the guy didn't perform. Here you go, Doc, if you can see it. I just have one thing to say. That's his one thing to say? <laughs> I'm killing them. Dude, I'm that, killing them with this one. That, that head I'm bob, killing them with this <laughs> All right, one. So, does that take Not, away from? It's still awkward bro, and corny. I ain't gonna lie it's to you. Super corny. I ain't gonna lie like, to you. It's super. Corny. Let me put it like this: Racism is a stat, right? That you start out with zero. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but listen, it never depreciates. So it never depreciates. Never depreciates. So you can add on to it or you can sustain the level of racism. Now, what Joe Biden has been doing for the past month, he's been on a legendary run. He's been trying to depreciate the racism, the racist antics. I don't want to call it racism, but racial antics that he's been controversial things. But he's not I don't think he's racist. I think. He wants to appear not racist. And so this is how much he wants to appear not racist. Or this is how much he wants to appear down or cool. Which to me is showing Hip. how racial, racially motivated, inclined, influenced, observant okay. you are. And so this is you're not black if you don't vote for me. Is it similar to that? It's it's similar to saying, you know, you think- Hispanic people sp- think in a variety of ways, in a diverse amount of ways, as opposed to African-Americans. He did. Hmm. Yeah, he did. I don't know, man. It's difficult, though. Like, supposedly Trump is right now polling really well with the Latino vote. And yeah. the reasons why I think that is, for one... Um, uh, he's scaring votes away. The leftist movements have a, a strong outcry for socialism, and Cubans do not like socialism because they they've come from a communist country. They do, they're not about it, and they they left for a reason. And a lot of like Latinos are used to having 
a Trump-like president. Like Mexico had one for pretty much 20 years. They only recently changed to Obrador, which is a, a left president, or he's a liberal president. He's not really leftist. Um, but that's only because in 2019, there was 150,000 deaths in gun violence alone. And so they were just like, all right, uh, fight fire with fire isn't really working. So let's try being passive and see if that helps. And uh, so they're giving it a go. But I think that the reason why a lot of Latinos really like Trump's rhetoric right now is because a lot of Latin America is plagued by civil unrest. And one of the reasons to come to the U.S. is that there is no civil unrest. But now there is. And so I think a lot of those people are voting conservative because they want to get it back to the status quo of no civil unrest. Wait, a couple of things. Go for it, go for it, brother. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just saying, it's like, and I don't think that the, the Democrats are promoting that well enough to get the Latino vote. I don't think so either. Hey, thanks for watching a clip of Fake Deep Think. And if you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe, like the clip, leave a comment, and check out our page for more content. Full episodes of Fake Deep Thinking are released every Friday on Podbean, iTunes, and Spotify. Peace.